This is a great place to take a photo of the sky tree. It's also very beautiful at night because all the bridges here, they illuminate. This is the matcha. We got number three and number seven. That looks so perfect and it is like piping hot. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I did a video outside, but here we are in Asakusa in September, but it feels like the middle of summer. It is crazy hot. Hi guys. So I thought I'd come out to Asakusa today because uh, my friend is visiting from abroad and he wanted to come here. So perfect day to film for you guys. Let's see how crowded it is today in Asakusa. I have not been here in a while. That's the Kaminari Mon Gate here. This is the, the tourist information center. So how are you guys doing today? Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. So, like I said, it's been a while since uh, I vlogged outside for Shinichi's World. I, I needed that break so thank you so much for understanding I've been making lots of food videos uh, but um, I think I'm ready to go outside and film vlog again for you guys okay so here we are this is Kaminari Monge yeah it is as crazy as ever by the way it is uh, 35 degrees Celsius here today can you believe it and it's like middle of September and I can't get through because there's so many people here. This is Kaminari Mon Gate. This is the gate that you pass through before you get to Nakamise Dori. And if you've been watching my, my channel for a while, you already know, but uh, this street is the street full of shops leading to Sensoji Temple, the oldest temple in the uh, Kanto area. And um, this uh, Nakamise Dori also goes back a very long time like it's over a century old and many of the shops are very well established some of the shops have been operating for over a hundred years when you pass under uh, Kaminari Mo make sure to check out the two guardians on either side of the lantern and you can find out more about the guardians on the plaques over there one thing I notice every time I come here is that there are always new shops like this one's fairly new here. They sell bath bombs and lip bombs. This shop right here is also a cosmetic shop that's pretty new. This place sells ningeyaki. It's pretty good. And uh, yeah, I, I believe th th this shop has been in operation since 1910. They sell like Japanese things. More souvenirs here. Oh, and the, and the kibidango here is really, really good. So my friend is ordering some kibidango because I recommended something he needs to try. This shop is called Azuma, and it's one of the it's one of the shops on the left side, very near the entrance to the shops. This is what it looks like. You get five of these for 400 yen. Mm. You have to be careful because uh, the kinako uh, ground soybeans on the outside does get on your clothes if you don't be careful. Mmm, mmm, that's good. So make sure to visit Azuma, located right here. By the way, there's this really cute, nice traditional fan shop here on this corner here. Look at this. It's so nice. I love it. I'm actually looking for a really nice fan for myself. Maybe I'll buy one next year. We'll check out some of the side streets later on like this, okay? This place, Hunawa, is very famous for the Imo Yokan. Um, this is their main shop over here. Well, the main shop on the street. This is more popular with uh, locals, I think. Not so much the tourists. Do you know? Do you know Imoyoka? This is what it looks like. Imoyoka. Hard to see the glare. All the people wearing kimonos, like these one right here, like this couple in front of us, are rentals. So these are like the tourist kimonos. Although they're they're quite nice actually. Another thing you have to try is Santika Ningyaki. This is Asakusa 
a specialty and they look like these these are like pancakes with a uh, azuki inside and it they are made fresh here so which makes it better than the other place i decided to get a package of six for 600 yen okay so we got a pack of six they come in various shapes so this one is a mask of a, a demon or something be careful warning it's hot so don't eat it in one bite like he did <laughs> yeah <laughs> literally burned his mouth just now <laughs> mm. and the inside is like this it's like smooth azuki bean paste it's delicious and the, the pancake is very very thin and crispy mm. we're almost at the sand soju temple maybe halfway there I could just walk around here and try all the different food on this street. It's so fun and I have to say as far as street food is concerned, I think Asakusa is one of the best places. Yesterday we went filming in Akihabara, it was just as hot as today. And so I'm feeling a bit lethargic today. But I'm happy, I'm happy I am out and about even though it's a really hot day. Oh, this is pretty. Look at these umbrellas here. This decoration. This is not here all year long. So it's probably just for the summertime or something. That is very pretty. Okay, we are almost at the main temple. This is the second gate to enter Sensoji Temple. There's a five-star pagoda on the left side here. And by the way, it's really beautiful here at night. So I recommend you guys visit Asakusa at nighttime if you've never done that before. The temples are closed during nighttime, but um, the buildings are all illuminated and it's very, very beautiful. And here we are at the main temple. Once again, this is Sensoji Temple. And by the way, make sure to look back to look at the gigantic straw slippers. Uh, this is made in Yamagata. Satoshi's hometown. Okay, let's go. Let's go pray for world peace. Now we're gonna walk through some of the back streets here in Asakusa. Right here, this is a very famous melonpan place for melon bread. And during the summer, I recommend the melon bread ice cream. But uh, yeah, they're pretty famous and there's always a line here. And it's located in this Shotengai right here, the shopping street. So T's gonna buy some melon bread here, so he's in line. By the way, he has a channel called Konnichiwa from dot dot dot. I leave the link in the description. Check it out. I noticed there are some new shops like this one here. It's called don't know what's called uh, Menchikatsu shop, I think. But it says they've been doing business since 1975. But they either re renovated their shop or they moved because I've never seen this before. Yeah. And they sell them in these like little round balls, also the regular size like that. And this place sells a uh, pressed uh, tempura. As you can see, there are no lines because I don't really recommend it. But anyway, I noticed there's so many shops down the street. During the pandemic, like most of these shops are closed and a lot of them went out of business. So I'm very happy to see this place thriving. To show you how hot it is, look at my shirt. Look at this. Look at this. I look ridiculous. This is the famous melon bread, the melon pan. Look how perfectly shaped it is. That looks so perfect and it is like piping hot. It's just out of the oven. The place is called Kagetsudo and they've been making melon pan since 1945. Hi, dozo. First time. Don't burn your mouth mm. again. What? How is it? It's so good. So good. Crispy. Oh, it's good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It is so hot, I can't believe it. 
It's hotter than I imagined. Oh wow. Oh wow. The cookie crust on the outside is perfect. And so fluffy. Perfect amount of sweetness. Delicious. Here's an old fashioned slipper shop with Japanese sandals. Very pretty. So many new shops here. Like this crepe shop just opened this month. Wow, look how pretty that is. Even this uh, clothing store here, it's an antique shop. It's new. 80s, 90s movie goods and records and t shirt Wow. This is new, this milk bar. It wasn't here before. This, this one has been here. This is a pretty old shop here. This piece is great because they have uh, vintage kimono and fabrics. Wow. They used to have a shop here, but now they replaced it with some vending machines. Good idea, actually. Okay, so we're gonna check this place out. Uh, this is, uh, they're famous for unagi onigiri, I believe. And you found this on the internet? Yeah. Yeah? It's oh. very famous. Okay, and I know now you love unagi. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. In this unagi, Onigiri shop is located along this really quaint street here full of like local bars like dive bars almost and at the end of the street there's the oldest amusement park in Japan What is this? They have Brazilian coxinha here What? By the way, this shop is called Unana The unagi shop was over there and there's an eating space right up here this is for the unagi onigiri customers. Oops. Wow. Mmm, smells good. And that's like a yaki onigiri? Yes. Grilled onigiri. Mmm. Good? It's good. It's perfect. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. How about it? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It could be better. Like, I wish it was grilled a little more nice. Because there's no char grilled flavor. But um, I, I think I got the, the tender part. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the rice is okay. I also wish the rice was also grilled a bit more. So this is a crepe shop that we went to the last time. I don't love it. Obviously, there's no line anymore like there used to be. And this is the oldest amusement park in Japan. The entrance is over there. These streets are pretty quiet today. That is another ride here. Oh my god, I'm so happy I came here with T because he did his research and he found a gelato shop and they're supposed to have like the number one best like green tea, matcha ice cream, gelato, yes. something like that. Yeah, anyway, I'm excited. It's like hidden away from the main area. And here we are at the gelato shop. It's called Suzuki-en. Suzuki-en and Nanaya. Oh, it's a collaboration. And they are famous for having the the strongest matcha gelato in the world i want to come here okay let's do it oh my god i'm so excited wow oh it's a nice shop and very nicely air conditioned and they have some tea you can buy if the gelato is good i might buy myself some matcha This is the matcha. We got number three and number seven. Oh, that is like perfect matcha gelato. But you got the bitterness of the matcha, the sweet, and it's not like super bitter. Number seven is the strongest. Oh, that one is definitely super strong. It's like espresso. Okay. So, if you're not used to drinking matcha, you might not want to go for number seven. 
Hmm. I don't know which one I like better. I think I might like number three more, just because it's more balanced. So, we are here on Loko Street. And I hear in the past, like this place, well actually all of Asakusa was in a gigantic entertainment center, kind of like Shinjuku or even more than Shinjuku. But uh, this, this is a new hotel, fairly new hotel. It was built during the pandemic and they were closed until recently. And there is some, there's Don Quixote on the right side over there. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, kind of nice places to eat on the street. By the way, right here, this is actually, a, it's like a new theater. It is. This used to be bigger in the past. I think this entire building used to be a new theater, but now it's just this one floor, I think. Okay, looking back at the new theater, uh, this complex right here has a really nice Uniqlo store with only Asakusa products that you can buy here. And then on the top floor, there is Asakusa Yokocho, which is where you can have good food and you can bar hop. It's, it's really nice. And this is the Don Quixote store that's open 24 hours. You can buy lots of souvenirs here. Here's another side street that's really interesting. It's called Tanuki Dori, which translates to Badger Street. And the reason why is because you will find all these statues of Tanuki. Here's another one right here. Here's another one right here. Another one right here. I'm not. I'm not really sure if there is a meaning behind the tanuki, but it's kind of interesting. It, it's, it's hidden too, like you wouldn't know about this unless you're walking along this particular street. Alright, so we are almost at the end of this video. We are at the riverfront of Asakusa. Whenever you guys come to Japan, do you visit Asakusa? And if you do, do you come to the riverfront? I like coming here during the cherry blossom season. There's a lot of people here, but it's less people than some other more popular places. This is where you can see the that building there with the poop, the golden poop. And that's sky tree in the distance. By the way, I do want to say thank you to you guys for watching my videos, even though I was doing mostly food videos. I know many of you guys subscribe for these walking videos. It's just, you know, I, I was, I just needed this uh, long break. Um, it was just too overwhelming. You know, filming for Tabi Eats, going outside filming for that and also for this. So I hope you understand, but I am back to making some videos on this channel outside. So hope you guys keep watching, yeah. So during the, during the springtime, this is all sakura trees. So it's really nice. And that is the Tokyo sky tree in the distance. This is the riverfront. Uh, these are the sea buses that take you to places like Odaiba, for example. It goes that way. And here we are at the Sumida River Walk. It's open from early morning until 10 p.m. Basically, it's a bridge that you just walk across to the other side to get to where Sky Tree is. It's a really nice walk though. Here we are, Sumida River Walk. Let's take a walk. Let's stroll across the bridge. It's a beautiful day today. Look at that. Ah, it's been a while that I got to appreciate the the beautiful sky. It's been so hot this year that it was really hard for me to appreciate the, the nice weather. Although it's rained a lot this year, this summer we had a lot of uh, rainstorms. This is Sumida River. It's also very beautiful at night because all the bridges here, they illuminate. You can also walk along the riverbank, which is really pleasant. And the train is just passing by right above here. If you guys happen to visit Tokyo during the summertime, really make sure you hydrate with water, uh, isotonic drinks, because it really, really is hot. But I feel it, it'll be a lot more pleasant 
coming to Japan, Tokyo, like including walking across this bridge when it's a little bit cooler, it's a lot more pleasant. Ah, but it's nice though. We're, we're just about at the end of the bridge. And we're gonna cross the street here. We just crossed the street and you see this park. There's actually a beautiful pond there, but it's under construction at the moment. And then you have this complex here on the right side, which is underneath the, the railway tracks. And there are like new shops and restaurants here. And it's uh, it, 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 connect, it kind of connects to the Tokyo Skytree, which is over there. So we're gonna walk over there. So this is actually a really cool shop. They have like tote bags and they have like other things here. And then you can walk along the riverbank there. Here we are on the riverside. So you can have a meal here at this riverside cafe. You can watch some boats go by. And this is a river that leads from Asakusa all the way to the sky tree. And if it hasn't changed, if it hasn't closed down, there's also like a kind of like a hotel that you can stay here. I haven't been here in so long, so I'm not sure. And it's especially pleasant here at nighttime. If I lived close nearby, I think I would come here more often. This place is pretty far from where we live. Like to get here, it takes us over an hour, so it's a little bit far. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm having an amazing day. I feel good. This is a this is a great place to take a photo of the sky tree. If you're too nearby, it's too tall. So, yeah, this is the best place. Now, the strange thing, the ridiculous thing is that from that side, we were on that side to come to this side, you have to walk all the way over there to cross the street. So, that's a shame. And that's a I'm not sure what kind of train that is. But that's going somewhere. Anyway, yeah, the hotel or the hostel is still here. It's called the Wise Owl Hostel. It looks like a nice place to stay. I wonder if it's noisy though. It's like right below the train tracks. So this is the, the hostel. It's like a Yeah. What do you call these trees? I, I, the, the, the hanging shidare yanagi. I like shidare yanagi. I think it, it looks very Japanese to me. Hi right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, it was a really nice day. I enjoyed being outside. It's been a while since I've been out without Satoshi. And uh, yeah, it was kind of nice. So I do have to say thank you to my friend who's visiting. Uh, if it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't have been outside in the hot sun filming. But it was great, I did. Once again, check his uh, channel out. Uh, he has a cool channel. Um, it, 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 it still doesn't have much content there. But what he does have is really good. Uh, watch his Kawagoi video. That's my favorite video. Uh, he's making content while he's here in Japan. So stay tuned for more. Anyway, thanks guys again for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.